too shy to hold eye contact? Strong eye contact is a powerful weapon of seduction. If you can hold eye contact with an attractive person and slowly allow a smile to spread across your face, it will have an enormous effect on them. If they look away first and then they quickly glance back at you and you're still smiling at them, their heart will be pounding in their chest with excitement. Strong, comfortable, seductive eye contact is a great way to start any interaction. But the problem is eye contact is terrifying for most people. Don't worry kids, I've got your back. So how do you get to that level of comfortable, seductive eye contact? Step one, get rid of any goofy notions that all you need is a new idea to put into your brain and then suddenly eye contact will be magically easy and natural. Instead, see eye contact as a skill, not a trick, not a thing you need to figure out, not a symptom of inadequacy, but a skill that can be learned. Can you play the trombone? Probably not. But if you practiced playing the trombone every day, eventually you would be able to play the trombone. Eye contact is no different. All skills can be learned if you are patient enough. Step two, when practicing these eye contact exercises, go slow. Go slower than you think you need to go. Do not rush. Practicing anything is boring, but because strong, confident, seductive eye contact will help you in so many ways, take your time to master this skill. This is a skill that needs to be practiced comfortably every day and slowly improved every day. So how do you practice? As slowly as possible. The first level is to be able to hold somebody's eye contact until they look away while you are walking in opposite directions. When you can feel comfortable holding eye contact long enough until they look away first, you're ready for level two. Level two is to simply give them a simple head nod or a smile or any sign of acknowledgement before they look away. Level three is when you can make and hold eye contact until they look look away first when you're not walking in opposite directions, when you're both standing in some location, like in line at the supermarket or somewhere. Keep at this until they consistently look away first and you feel comfortable until they look away first. Don't stare like a creep. Don't pretend this is some mad confidence staring contest. Just allow a subtle smile to appear on your face until they look away first. Level four is to again, before they look away first, give them a slight nod or a smile or any sign of acknowledgement. But don't expect them to do anything in return. You cannot control other people's behavior. If they smile back, great. If not, who cares? Level five is when you can hold eye contact while somebody else is talking. Level six is when you can hold eye contact when you are talking. Level seven is when you can hold eye contact during a conversation and importantly, while asking them a question you would like them to say yes to, but they might say no to. Level eight is when you can start and hold simple extended conversations all while holding eye contact. Level nine is when you can start conversations with strangers hold eye contact, and hold eye contact while you ask them for their contact information. Level 10 is when you can express difficult and complex emotional ideas while holding eye contact. Clearly, these are rough estimates. Just keep them in mind while you go through your daily life. Remember that holding and maintaining eye contact is a skill. Do not rush. Do not push yourself. Do not put huge expectations on yourself. Do not expect this to happen overnight. Skills take time to learn. Allow yourself to go through each level at your own pace. Doing these exercises will build your confidence. Doing these exercises will build your self-esteem. Doing these exercises will help you to behave more assertively. Doing these exercises will help you to behave more attractively. Start slow, continue slowly, and always improve. Thank you for watching. 
please subscribe, like, and comment. To learn more, please visit mindpersuasion.com.